Gillespie, who's done s some work for us, he told me he won a million dollars, and I didn't believe him. Then he sent me yeah. the picture. Last year. Last year. When all so of the, the big pots The Powerball, yeah. he didn't get all the numbers and the Powerball. He just got all of the numbers. But he won a million bucks. He clearly got enough. He hasn't talked to us since, oddly enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not He's true. He's no longer working. That's not true. He has reached out. All right. Well, the circle got a little bit smaller. <laughs> you know who you are out there. All right. Let's talk about... Uh, uh, the weather out there tonight, and unfortunately, this rain that we had last night is—is is it going to be—is it going to continue, or are we going to get that heavy rain tonight again? I don't think the rain is going to be as heavy tonight as it was last night. Will it be a soaking? Sure, but I don't think it's going to be to the degree that we had around the area last night. Last night, a lot of us picked up one to two inches of rain. Some of us even more than that. I think going forward, the average amount will be around an inch or less. So that's some good news. We got in on a much needed and welcomed break from steady rains today because that has allowed at least a little bit of that rain to run off, right? Here's a look at radar, but here it comes. We're seeing wet weather now beginning to creep its way into area south of the 7175 split there. So heading down towards Dry Ridge, Owen County, as you head down towards the speedway on 71. As you head out there towards parts of Gallatin and Carroll counties, wet weather is beginning to move its way back into the tri-state. So, yes, it's going to be a wet evening. I think the heaviest rains, though, don't come again until after we've gone to bed. Here's a look at what we're following. Notice all this rain back through southern Indiana, Illinois, back into southern Missouri tonight. There's a little bit of thunder and lightning out there, but what I'm liking about this is that I don't see much in the way of thunderstorms, right? So that means more of a steady soaker rain versus heavy pounding rain like we had at times last night with a lot of thunder and lightning early this morning. So moving forward on average, I think most of us pick up about an additional inch of rainfall, some a little less, maybe some a little more than that here overnight into early tomorrow morning. The heaviest rain will come through probably between about 2 and 4 a.m. I'm not really worried about severe weather here as I don't think we have the ingredients necessary for that. But the good news, this is a quick window of moderate to heavy rain that comes through. And then notice by 7 a.m., the widespread rains have come to an end. There still may be some lingering showers around the area the first part of your Saturday, but we should quickly dry out and transition to where we're a little worried about some of those gusty winds tomorrow, especially for any old or rotted trees, for example, those with any shallow root systems, because the ground so saturated, it will make it a little bit easier to top over some trees tomorrow with those strong winds, hence the wind advisory. But I don't think it's a widespread issue, just something to kind of be alert about. Otherwise, it's cloudy and then you know it turns cooler tomorrow night around here. So outside right now, pretty yucky out. We're at 44. Temperatures will actually go up this evening. In fact, if you look south into Kentucky, warmer air is going to overtake the tri-state. So temperatures will actually go from the 40s to around 60 by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. So rain tonight, breezy. There could be a few rumbles of thunder as temperatures go up. And then for tomorrow, we should start to dry out pretty fast in the morning. But watch out, it'll be a windy day though. Temperatures will top out in the low 60s early. And then I think temperatures will begin to coast their way down as cooler conditions move in here for the afternoon and night. Seven day forecast looks like this. We'll get close to freezing Saturday night, so it turns chilly. Plenty of sunshine in here on Sunday. We've got some small shower chances early next week, but Mike and Cherie, I'm liking this forecast because overall we get several days for a lot of this water to just kind of drain out of the area after we get past tonight. Kevin, thanks so much. How about this here? <laughs>